Okay, so I'm outside splitting stones down, and I figured I'd take you out and show you one. So anyway, this rock and this rock are the same rock, other than I trimmed them up a little bit different. So on the back, it's trimmed down. I split the two rocks into one, or I, excuse me, I split the one rock into two, and then this one and that one is the same rock as well. So if I'm careful, I can split the rock and get two pieces out of one rock, but it takes quite a bit to do it. So anyway, I'm gonna take you out and we're gonna do it. Back in the day, they would have used a good hammer and a chisel. This is the rock I'm gonna split into two pieces. I wanna have three inch thick pieces for the hearth in there. So back in the day, they would have just taken a chisel and a hammer and and I've done it before, even on video for you guys, but they would have just taken this and they would have just scored all the way around. I've been working on this cabin for a long time and I'm a little tired. So I'm gonna cheat just a little bit, but it's the exact same concept. And that is, I'm gonna use this power chisel and I'm gonna score this stone all the way around, right in the middle. give me the exact same look if I'm not careful it won't work where I want it to start to see the crack open up there so I want to be careful and not hit too much where it's already cracked and work on some place that's not cracked yet. So I'm going to come to this side and just hit it a little bit. tell by the sound where it's cracked and where it's not. So I've got a crack here around to about here. So I want to move on to someplace different. are cracked. Cracked out to there so I just got a little bit in the center there. And then what I have to do is get that crack to go all the way through. The there that side just went through. Should have a little bit on this side and it should go. Bingo. So now I've got two pieces. 
So this will be my face of the hearth in there. And then this one too. And I don't want to use the back side. I kind of want to keep the old, the old looking. And you can see this is the side that I split, so I'm putting it down. So I'll put those two in now. it hits the surface there and gets against the stone the, the moisture will leave it real quick so you gotta kind of hustle and not do too many at a time it's best if you sit them down nice and flat and then work them into place and by that I just mean just shake them down pull them up where they belong and sort of Sort of wiggle them down until the mortar starts to squeeze out. All the work was pretty much in getting the stones cut, getting them fit, figuring out what size pieces to put where. That's where all the work was. This is kind of, it's not bad, but yet, I gotta make sure I get them. level as possible. I'm not using a level because it really doesn't make sense. Because the stones are so off, we're just going for a look. And I think I'm nailing it. So I kind of need it to be a little bit flat, but yeah, it's going to be too hard to, to make sure it's perfect. So we're not even going to go for perfect. So what I got done yesterday was all the rock. Today I got my fire back put back in. I've got my crane installed. I was really careful to make sure that it was nice and level um, in both positions. So when it's back over the fire, I can hang a kettle on it. But if I have to swing the kettle out into the room to put seasoning or whatever in it, I can do that very easily. I also, I'm going to use a lot of the big traditional like 10 gallon pots where I'm going to put a big pot in there, build a little fire underneath of it, use the chimney to vent the pot without any of the grates or anything in there, just a nice simmering fire. So I also made this so it comes out very easily. Just pick it up and drop it out of there. I can get it out of my way. Um, and then it's got a long shank on the top. So you just have to line up the hole on the top and then drop the bottom one into its slot there. And now it can't come out of there. Um, but like I say, I was very careful to make sure that it's nice and level all the way across. So tomorrow's job, again, this corner is for my kitchen stove. So tomorrow I need to finish chinking the side walls here and the back wall. So I'm gonna finish getting this all chinked up tomorrow. Here's my vent for my kitchen stove. Kitchen stove will sit right here. Um, so I wanna get the walls chinked. If I have time, get the stove set in place. This will also get 
just behind the stove, not what's above it. I want to keep it so you can see as much log as possible. But what logs you're not going to be able to see anyway, I'm going to cover with really old tin roofing just for a protection behind the stove. I've used this stove a lot. It doesn't get real hot behind the stove. Most of the iron in the front, the cooking surface gets hot, but it doesn't get real hot behind it. But I still want to take precautions so that the log's not getting hot. I did put one electrical outlet um, behind the stove and I got one beside the stove. So if I need a little fan somewhere, it'd be real easy to put a fan in there. Probably not gonna use that one for now. My kitchen, my, my light, I'm not sure yet. I've sort of just been using this one. I don't know if I'm gonna bring it over so it's right above the stove and hang kettles on both sides. This wall will all be exposed. I'll probably, I'm gonna say that stove's only about this wide. So I'll have a little bit of room here. So if I wanna hang kettles on the wall here, I can. Um, I need to keep a little bit of room to clean out ashes and stuff from that side as well though. Um, I think that's it for now. I'm gonna clean up a little bit. I've got a mess here on the floor, so I'm gonna clean up a little bit and just get ready for tomorrow. Anyway, whenever this, whenever I get this project done, I will put together a little video for you. Okay, so over the last couple of days, I've worked on finishing this area of my kitchen. Of course, you got the fireplace with the, the end iron or the crane to cook on. Um, all the stone, I had to split all the stone down. Um, show you that in my video. And then this is where my kitchen stove is gonna be. But I wanna show you what I just did. I finished my chinking. This wall I just had to chink this morning. Mm, my power just went out. Not good. And I believe it's all out. Okay, that outage was short-lived. So while the camera was off, I started moving some of the stove in, and I'm going to try to bring it in here shortly. But I want to finish telling you about the tin. So behind this, this is the actual original metal roofing from the log cabin. I saved all that stuff. So what I did here was put up a heat shield on the logs, and there's an airspace behind it. So the kitchen stove is going to go here. It doesn't produce a lot of heat behind it. Normally you can put your hand on it, but just in case. So when the metal starts to warm up, it'll heat up the air that's behind it. And the difference between the temperature back there and the bottom will cause the air to start to flow. So there's plenty of room underneath of it for it to draw air in. It'll draw air up behind it, therefore keeping that wall from getting hot. You can actually get this pretty hot and no heat will ever touch the logs. So my chimney vent is here. So as the pipes come out, it's enough for the, for the vent as well. Um, anyway, I'm going to finish getting the stove brought in and set up and I'll take some pictures and hopefully maybe I can decorate this area a little bit before I do this post. Um, just to give you an idea of what's in my head. So anyway, here we go. Okay, so here's the finished product for that side of the kitchen. I still need to finish this side. So chinking and whatever's going to be on that wall. Um, I'll save that for later. I know it's going there, but I'll just save it for later. Anyway, kitchen table's back in place. The ladder is movable. I can move it anywhere on that wall that I want. Um, kitchen table, the kitchen stove is installed, all hooked up, ready to go. Um, I don't like how bright that light is. It's not as bright as it looks in the picture, but it's really hard to take pictures back through there. Um, I got all my iron hanging on the wall there. I've got iron behind the lights on the wall there. I've got iron on this side, utensils. My son had these made for me by a blacksmith um, local. Anyway, there's the stove, the fireplace. I got a couple decorations on the, the mantle. Got some tools hanging here. Um, the crane, I'll back up a little bit so you can see it now. The crane comes out into the room real nice so I can cook a stew or whatever on there and I'm going to do. Anyway, push that back in. 
kind of hard to be in here by myself. I don't, can't walk around and hold a camera at the same time. Um, kitchen table. This is kind of looking the other way from the kitchen across the cabin. Uh, that side of the cabin's pretty much a mess. There's my good camera. That's the one I take most of my good pictures with. So, anyway, I'll get back and show you one more glimpse from this side. So there it is. There's the chimney, fireplace, kitchen. Um, it's coming. It's coming well. Anyway, I'm going to put this on the end of my video, and I hope you enjoy it.